that it's time for us to start. Big warm welcome to all of you. Really nice to have you here again this week on Wednesday, the 27th of April on Freedom Day. Uh, we're really glad that you could join Kat and I again. Remember our class rules, everybody. You need to keep your mic on mute until you are asked to unmute until you are asked to unmute or speak. Remember, we do not um, allow any inappropriate words or language to be used in our classes. We will need to respect our fellow classmates and the Watobi teachers. And then there are no requests for any personal information at all, like cell phone numbers. And you mustn't post your cell phone number in the chat either. The chat is there for you guys to communicate by answering questions or asking questions. It's not there for you to chat to the other people that are here to learn. Okay, and then most importantly, we're all here to learn and have fun together. Okay, so on that note, let's get started. Last, uh, well, not last, but on Monday, we started integers. So today we need to start talking about operating with integers. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start talking about adding integers okay so adding integers means that we are going to be adding negative and positive numbers that's what it means all right so when we are adding integers right we are talking about adding positive or negative numbers And there are two sort of broad different ways in which we can look at um, adding integers. What's up, Tabani? I see your hands up. Sorry, that was a mistake. Oh, okay, all right. <clears throat> and I'm going to talk about the one way, and then I'm going to talk about the other way. But they really, really, really do mean exactly the same thing. So you need to follow whatever you feel makes the most sense to you. Okay, so in the examples that I have got on the screen at the moment, what is important when we are adding integers is that there ends up being two signs that sit next to one another, okay, because here, here's our integer, and then here's our operation of adding, okay, here's our operation of adding, okay, um, and the truth is that when we start with a particular number, so the number that we're starting with is going to be the number in turquoise. This is our starting place on the number line. When we look at the plus, all right, that tells us to con well or to move in a certain direction. All right. So the yellow, the yellow plus that's been highlighted on the screen at the moment, what direction does that tell us to move in? Are we supposed to move to the right? Or are we supposed to move to the left? Put your hands up. Okay, so the first person up, Tabani, are we moving right or left? Um, we will be moving right. We would be moving to the right-hand side. Absolutely. Good job. All right. But we need to move to the right-hand side. And we need to move to the right-hand side by using positive two. So now we can see we have got two signs next to one another. We've got the operation, which is to plus. And we've got the sign of two, which is positive. Okay, so we are adding a positive number, all right? In the first example, we are adding a positive. So when we are adding a positive, the two positive signs that sit next to one another have to become one sign to tell us what to do, either go to the right or go to the left. So when two positive signs sit next to one another, <clears throat> the sign is what? I'm gonna have a look and see who has got their hand up. Adriana, no, no one's got a hand up at the moment. All right, so when two plus signs sit next to one another, what is the operation that we are using? Plus or minus? Yes, Junior. It's minus. Minus. Oopsie daisy. Okay, it's not minus. Bonolo, what sign are we doing? When we add a positive number, are we using a plus or a minus? 
A plus, ma'am. A plus. <coughs> okay, so when we are adding a positive number, we are going to be plussing. Okay, so it's going to be addition. So in other words, the two signs become one. So we go from having seven plus positive two to seven and those two together become plus. So when we add a positive, we are adding. And this means let's start at seven on the number line and move to the right because we're plusing by two. Okay, that means that we're gonna end up at nine. So when we are adding a positive, we are adding. Okay, so two plus signs next to one another make a plus sign. Okay. Good, all right, now with the next one, again, nine is where we are starting on the number line. Plus is our operation, but now we are adding a negative number. All right, so what this means is start at nine on the number line, and if we were gonna go in a positive direction, we now need to change our direction and go in the other way. So plus and minus are unlike signs, and because they are unlike signs, this means that we are going to be using what operation, Motoban? Sorry, ma'am, just a mistake. Okay, no problem. Ms. Sadie, what operation are we going to be using when we add a negative number? Negative sign. Uh, we're going absolutely, we're going to use a negative all right so quite right over here when plus and minus are next to one another the sign is subtraction okay so when we are adding a negative let's write that in here when we are adding a negative we are actually subtracting okay so with this particular question, what would happen? Let's just get rid of that one, would be this. We are starting at nine on the number line. They want us to add negative eight, right? When we add a negative number, okay? So here you can see us adding a negative number. Here's our negative number, okay, in yellow we are actually subtracting. So this means nine minus eight. So that means start at nine on the number line, move to the left by eight places, and we will end up at one. Okay. Now, we don't just start at positive places on the number line. We could also start at negative places on the number line. All right. So. Uh, let's just think of an example of where we could start at a negative place on the number line. And let's just talk about what would happen then. We can talk about those now. Okay, so now let's pretend I am starting over here at negative three. And I decide to add a positive number like positive five. Or I could start somewhere like minus seven on the number line, and I could choose to add a negative number. Let's say I decide to add negative three. Okay, so the difference in what we're looking at now is where we are starting on the number line. So here in yellow, that is our starting point. That is where we start. Okay, then we are adding, we are adding, and the positive number I'm going to highlight in green. We are adding a positive number. So we're starting in a negative place and we are adding a positive number. So what happens here is that we keep our starting place fixed. When we add a positive number, we are adding. And this means that we need to start at minus three and move five places to the right-hand side. And when we do that, Goliswa, where will we end up on the number line? Do you know? Okay, Tersha, where would we end up on the number line? If we started at minus three and we move five places to the right, where would we end up? 
Yes, Tusha. Yes, Tusha. Uh, Mom, I think. Uh, uh, sorry, no, I wouldn't want to actually cheat because um, the comments say minus two, and I'm not really sure. So I'm not going to okay. copy the comments. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I'm All right. actually that's, not sure. That's fine. You know what I think might be a little bit easier here? Now, maybe I should have done this maybe first. Done this. All right. Is I'm going right. to go and fetch my number line. And I'm going to move it over here because really what we are doing when we are adding and subtracting grade sevens is we are moving up and down a number line. Down a number line. Okay, so there we go. All right, here's the number line. Here's the number line. Okay, so this yellow one was our starting place. All right, so we are starting at, let's just get this in yellow. There we go, and we want, yeah, where did our yellow color go? Okay, all right, anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, let's just use another color. It's not important. Our starting place is here. That's where we are beginning. Okay, that's where we're starting. So that's this bit over here. We now want to add a positive number. So when we add, we go in that direction. But when we add positive numbers, those two signs together become one sign, it becomes plus. And that means that we move to the right. So we're gonna start here and we're gonna jump one, two, three, four, five places to the right. Okay, and that means that we are going to end at positive two. Or grade sevens, what I could do, Just hold on, my pen's giving me issues at the moment. Just hang on one second. Kat, just give me one minute. My pen is just okay. not cooperating. I don't know why. It's like it's frozen. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, while you do that, um, Tavani and Devin, you guys have your hands up. Do you have questions while you're answering? I just wanted to answer. Okay, Devin, do you have a question? Yep, okay. Oh, this is very irritating because now I can't um, rub out anything. I don't know why it's done this, Kat. I don't, um, I don't even know what to do to refresh it. I see that it's, it's sinking over here. I don't know if there's even a refresh button that I can click on. No, I'm trying to turn you. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to unplug my writing pad. Yeah. And then I'll plug it back in again and I'll see if just breaking, sorry guys, if just breaking that connection for a bit maybe resets it. Let's just see what happens. Because this is the thing, we always expect everything to work like us. Oh man, are you kidding me? Come on. So you can't erase. Oh geez. I can't erase. And I can only write in black, which is very irritating because I want to now draw on the same number line and it won't let me do that. Let's just have a look again. Oh, here, here we, we go. go. Okay, I don't know what happened. We're back. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. You know, there's always going to be issues with technology. It's never foolproof. All right, so now in the next sum, all right, the first number is our starting place on the number line. Sorry, this is supposed to be a 
Ach, come now. Now I won't go off the rubber. <laughs> oh, really? What? This is crazy. <laughs> Just going to pull that out for two seconds. My apologies, I don't know what's working. Very irritating. Do you have a mouse? There we go. I do have a mouse. I suppose Maybe I could write it. That. Yeah, okay. Let me see. There we go. This seems to be better now. Okay, so if we start at minus seven. That's over there, that's our starting place. And when we add a negative number, right, it means that we were supposed to move in the right direction, but then they told us to turn around and change the direction. So that means move to the left-hand side. So that's why when a plus and a minus sign sit next to one another, we are in fact minusing. So this means start at minus seven, subtract three, and where are we gonna end up? Okay, so we're starting here. When we subtract, we're going in that direction to the left. So when we subtract three, three. one, two, three, we're going to end up at negative 10. All right, so either we can start in a positive place and we can add a positive number, or we could start in a negative place and we could add a positive number. And the other way around, we can start in a negative place and add a negative number, or we can start in a positive place and add a negative number. All right, so what's important to note is that the two signs together have to become one sign. All right, there's some questions. Are there any questions? Let's see, Tabani. No, I just wanted to answer a question earlier, sorry. Okay, now that's fine. Takalani, do you got a question? Um, Ma'am, I don't understand. Okay, so keep listening, Takalani. Okay, I'm going to explain it in a different way now. All right. Yes, we're moving yes. up and down. We're moving up and down a number line. Okay, so if you have a look at this example over here, we are starting. What's our starting place, Takalani, in this question here that's on the screen, the one that I put a little green mark next to? Where are we starting on the number line? We're starting at? Two. Plus two. Okay. And now we're going to add a positive number. So we're starting at two and we're adding a positive number. So in this case, three, it means <clears throat> we've moved two places to the right. This is where we are, that's where we're starting. Now they want us to add positive three. So now they're asking us to move another one, two, three places to the right. Okay, so the integers have the same sign, they're both plus. The answer has the same sign. So we keep the sign and we add the numbers. That's the other way of looking at it. Your teachers might teach you that as well. Okay, it means exactly the same thing as starting at two, adding three and ending up at five. Okay. Then another way they might teach this to you at school is as follows. Okay, so here we are starting at negative two. Sorry, I, I lie, we're starting at positive two and we are adding negative three. So the integer minus three is further away from zero than plus two. Can you see that? Here's zero in the middle and minus three is further away from zero than what plus two is. Minus three is down here, isn't it? Okay, minus three is far, far away, right? It's further away, it's down here. Minus three is over there. So this answer takes on the sign of the integer that is furthest from zero. So in other words, if we start at zero, we move two to the right, we move three in the other direction, and that's why our answer is going to end up with a negative, a negative one. Or as we were discussing earlier, we start at two, we add a negative number. When we start at two and we add a negative, we are subtracting, so it means start at two, Move left by three, and we're going to end up at negative one, just like that. Okay. All right, so I see there's some hands up. Tersha? Uh, no, sorry, my hand up was um, 
up for um well a long time but i wanted to say um uh i did come a bit late but where it said the rules of integers it's just it was by the start it was just a bit small for me to see because i've got um poor eyesight problem so i use glasses and i still couldn't see it so it's okay oh, um, i talked to oh, teacher cat Mm -hmm. And yeah, mm -hmm. I found a better solution. I just screenshotted it and then I'll just zoom in. All right. Okay, that's fine. Thanks, Tricia. Bonolo, do you have a question? Bonolo, do you have a question? No, ma'am. I just wanted to answer. Okay. All right. I Kaliswa, forgot to put my hand down. Okay. Kaliswa? No, ma'am. I just wanted to answer. Okay, all right. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take questions now. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna answer things. I just want to talk a little bit more, and then we're gonna get started on on an activity. All right. So then the next way that we can look at things is this one over here that I've just made um, a little bit bigger. All right. So we are starting at minus two. All right. So here again, we are starting at negative two. All right, so at from zero, negative two means go in this direction. Then we're going to add positive three. That means go back in this direction over here to the right-hand side. So the integer plus three is further away from the zero than the minus two. So the answer takes on the sign of the integer furthest from zero. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be a positive answer. Or minus two plus positive three means minus two plus three, which gives us positive one as our answer. Okay, so that's another way of thinking about it. And then the last one here is what happens when our integers have the same negative sign. Okay, so when our integers have the same negative sign, again, a way of looking at this is I'm starting at zero. I'm moving two places to the left, and then I am moving another three places to the left-hand side. Okay, which means I'm gonna end up at negative five. All right, so when they have the same sign, you're going to keep the sign and you're going to combine the numbers. Okay, so just like plus two plus positive two was positive five, so minus two plus negative three is going to give you negative five. All right, so another way of looking at this minus two plus negative three means start at minus two, take away three, and we end at negative five. Okay, so that's two different ways in which you can look at these sorts of questions. What I'm going to give you now is an opportunity to do some easy, we're going to do the easy questions first, and I'm going to leave the number line there for you. So let's see what you guys can do in five minutes, right? You should be able to do all the questions that are on the screen at the moment. If you've got a question, ask in the chat. Question. And then let's get started so we don't waste any more time. Okay, so remember, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna write it on the side here, okay? When you are adding a positive number, you are adding. When you subtract a negative number, mind you, we're going to be doing that today. No, we're not. So we don't need to worry about it. Or we are going to be adding a negative number. And then that means we will be minusing. Okay, that's all we need to worry about today. It can boothly. But that's when we involve multiply and divide and exponents. So here, we don't have to worry about it because we're just plusing and minusing. But yes, bot mass always applies. Tatilo, what's up? Um, Ma'am, I was just going to ask you, after we're done with the sums, can you go back to the previous page because I was still making some notes. Okay, but to tell her, you can always watch the video again and continue to make notes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, if you don't get everything down in time. 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Tabani? Tabani? No, ma'am. I'm just keeping my hand up so, like, when we're done, I can answer a question. Okay. Sorry, ma'am, about the disturbance. Um, mm -hmm. It's just that um, mm -hmm. on, well, uh, I think it was last week, um, Wednesday, uh, I didn't attend a lesson. So I was trying to go back to the previous lessons, but um, I actually failed to find the previous lessons. Um, I th yeah, we were still on integers. So I tried to go back on the lesson, but I only saw you do a short video. I think it was just one minute or 30 seconds that you said um, that we'll be doing integers. That's it. I couldn't find. So that, 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 would, have been a, that would have been, a, yeah, so that would have been an advertisement been a, for this course that was starting today, Tersha. So, I mean, that was started on Monday. So Nate, last Wednesday, we were still doing um, exponents. And Kat taught that class, not me. Um, but I tell you what, let Kat, I'm sure Kat will private message you and tell you what it is that you want to find. Okay. He... Okay, so Kat, I think we just need to post a couple of um, messages just telling everybody how to find the previous um, videos just so that they know how to do it. Okay, I just think maybe she did it. She tried to access it too soon because okay. they only get uploaded a few days after the lesson. Okay, so <coughs> Jody, it would be the same thing for you. Okay, you'll find it'll get uploaded a couple of in a couple of days' time, and then it'll be on the website. Okay, so just give it just give it mm. a couple of days, and then it'll be there. Okay, well, you guys kind of should be done by now. These shouldn't have been too difficult, um, but I know we've been talking a little bit. All right, so now. Only people that put their hands in the air can, can answer questions. All right. So now I see the first person is Latabo. Do one A, Latabo. What did you get? Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. You're not going to be able to do everything. Okay. But I just want us to move on so that we can do some of the other stuff that we've got planned this lesson as well. Even if you didn't finish everything. Latabo, what did you get in number one A? Ma'am, I got 10, ma'am. Good ten, lovely Latabo. Thank you. Well done. All right, Tersha, you're next. Do one B. Uh, sorry, ma'am. I, I couldn't finish them. You didn't. Oh, did I you didn't do finish one? all of them? That's okay. But did I you do one finish B? Okay, but did you do one B? Uh, one B. Yeah. Okay, so what did you get? Okay, so what did you get? Uh, I think, ma'am, please, please, if it's wrong, ma'am, just, sorry. It's okay, Tosh, we, 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 we don't make any judgments here. We're all just here to learn. We're all just here to learn. Okay, ma'am, I think I got four. Okay, all right. So now, unfortunately, right. you did get the wrong answer for that. Okay, let's talk about this question. All right, question. All right. Um, I'll show, I, you um, I'll show you something. Just give, just give me one second, all right, and then you can ask a question now, all right. If they give you minus eight plus four, did you guys know that we can change the order of our terms? So terms in maths are numbers that are separated, or letters that are separated by plus and minus signs. So in this situation over here, this sum has two terms. That's the first term, and that's the second term. Now, if I want to swap the order of the terms around, I'm allowed to do that. So minus 8 plus 4 means exactly the same as 4 minus 8. Okay, so in the beginning, I think it's important to note right, is that the first term is your starting place. 
The sun, the sign here is the direction in which you go, and then you're going to move four places to the right. It's exactly the same as starting at four and taking away eight. So that's why the number line was here, so that you can use the number line to help you. So here, our starting place is negative eight. That means we've got to start over here. When we add, we're moving to the right. So we're going to go one, two, three, four places to the right, and our answer is going to be negative four. Okay, so that's what we were supposed to be doing with these particular questions. Um, right. So my, my, my answer um, uh, was um, probably wrong, maybe because I forgot the negativity sign. Okay, I think okay. maybe you did forget I think that. Maybe you did forget that. Okay, so you've just got to be careful about where, where you start. Because I used to get um a bit confused with the negative numbers um because I would just for example what you said eight minus um eight eight I mean negative uh sorry mom <laughs> tongue twister uh negative okay. eight plus four. Okay. So mm -hmm. I used to say like mm -hmm. um eight minus four, and I used to say like it's equivalent okay. to four. Yeah, but you see, that's not the same, yeah, the same thing. thing. Okay, so minus eight plus four, minus eight plus four, eight plus four, four minus eight plus four, minus eight minus four. You've muddled the signs up. Muddled okay, signs eight was up. a negative and four was a positive. If you say eight minus four, then you're making eight the positive and four the negative. Okay, Tabani, do the next one for us, please. Um, the next one is negative five. Negative five. Well done, Tabani. That's lovely. Negative five. Okay, now Motabang, do two B, please. I think it's 17. It's 17. Motabang, you are perfect. Well done. It is 17. Good job. Ray two, do number three A. It's Cindy. Ray two. Want to do three A? Okay, Cindy, do three A. Negative nine. Negative nine. Good, Cindy. That's quite right. So you're going to start at zero and move nine places to the left. Good. Into BC. Do three B. Into BC. Nineteen. 19, good, well done, that's great. Lissedi, do 4A. 3, ma'am. Yeah. 3. Oh, sorry, ma'am, 0, 0. 0, quite oh, right. Okay, so now Lissedi, that was actually a very important question that you were asked here. All right, so this in maths has got a special name. When you start at a minus place and you add the same number, or you can start in a positive place and subtract that same number. Does anybody know what that's called in maths? It's got a special name. Anybody's teacher told them? Mind you, you probably haven't been told something like that yet. This is called an additive inverse. All right, and when we work with additive inverses, we always get um, zero as an answer. So for example, like here, we started at minus three and we added three and we got zero. Or we could start in a positive place. I could start at positive 10 and I could take away 10 and I would get zero. That would also be called an additive inverse. Okay, Kwan, Kwan, if I said that correctly, Kwan, I think. 4B, please. Um, it's, it's nine. Lovely. Well done. Perfect. So we've got nine. Well done, Quan. Then Bonolo, 5A, please. 5A, I think it's um, negative four. It certainly is, Bonolo. Well done. That's great. A Piwe, do 5B. Thanks, God. Um, I'm not sure if it is um, negative 14. It is negative 14. Very good. So you've started at minus 10 and you've moved four places to the left. That was very good. Well done. Devin, do number 6A. Yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. Please keep your mics on mute. It's Devon's turn to talk, please. Devon, do 6A, please. Ne negative 7. Why is it negative, Devon? Why would your answer be negative? Don't worry, Devin, it's, uh, mistakes are wonderful things to make, okay, because that's how we learn. All right, so here in this question, Devin, we were starting at nine. That means we're starting over here, all right? And then when we move, we are mo adding a negative number, so we are subtracting. So that means that we've got to move to the left by two. So our answer should be positive seven, not negative seven, okay? Never mind, that was a good try. Okay, Devin? Thank you, ma'am. No problem. All right, Mufaro, do 6B, please. Ma'am, I think it's negative 6. Negative 6, unfortunately not. Okay, what we are doing here, Mufaro, tell me, where are we starting on the number line? At? Was that not 10? No, we're not starting at 10, we're starting at negative 10. Okay, so 10 is here. Negative 10 is all the way down there, they're not the same number. Okay, so we're starting at negative 10 and then we add negative 8. So when we add negative 8, what direction are we moving in, Mufaro? To the right or to the left? To the right. No, when we add negative numbers, we move to the left because we are subtracting. Okay, so if we add a negative number, we are moving to the left. So we need to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places to the left hand side. So we're actually going to end at negative 18. We started in a negative place. When we add a negative number, we are subtracting. And in this case, eight. Okay, Latabo, do seven A, please. Latabo, you can do seven A. No, Latabo. Okay, Ray two, do you want to do seven A? Yes. Okay, what did you get? Eight. Eight. Okay, I don't agree with you, Ray, too. Okay, what is the question asking us to do? It's asking us to start at what number? Where's two. our starting place? At two. Okay, and then when we have to add a negative number, are we adding or subtracting when we add a negative? We are adding. No, we're not adding. We're not adding. We are subtracting. Okay, when we add a negative number, we are subtracting. Okay, the other way to look at it is which of these two numbers is the furthest from zero? Is minus six further from zero than two? Okay. So, okay, so have a look here. There's minus six. Whoopsie, let's not color it in in pink. Let's highlight it. Here's minus six, okay? Yes. Here's positive two. Which one is further away from zero? Negative six. Negative six, okay. So our answer has to have a negative in it. So another way of looking at it is like this, okay? We're starting at negative six. It's negative eight. Not negative eight. You're getting closer, but it's not negative eight. So our answer has to have a negative. All right. So remember the other way that we looked at this is that we start at zero. We go two units to the right. Okay. And now we've got to go four units back in the other direction. Okay. That's what this means. So two plus minus six. It's plus minus plus minus six means start at plus two. So we're going to move to the right by two. And then we're going to turn around. Okay, and we're going to change our direction. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six places to the left. So we're actually going to end up at negative 
It is, Bonolo. That's a lovely answer. Well done. That's great. You did that Thank beautifully. God. I thought I was wrong. I... <laughs> I know. You're not wrong. And you know what? In the beginning, use the number line. Okay. Until you get used to it, it really is the best way for you to understand what it is that you're doing. So don't be afraid of that. Now I want to do something that's just a little bit more difficult. All right. So I've organized for us to do this activity here. And I hope you can still see there's still a number line at the top of the page. So you guys should be able to count backwards and forwards, right? But now what I've done is I've covered up some of the answers and you need to figure out what's supposed to go inside the block, right? So this is gonna be a little bit more difficult, okay? Now, number one and number two and number three and number four, are not difficult, but from number five onwards, things start to get a little bit more challenging, all right? So let's practice again, just a little bit to get ourselves into the swing of things, and then we'll start doing the more difficult questions. All right, so who else had a hand up? Let's just go and have a look. Uh, Lissedi, what would you do in the first one? And number one, Lissedi. Um, no, ma'am, I put my, my hand up for the last question. Okay, that's fine. Gugu, do you want to do number one? Uh, ma'am, I'm using my mom's phone. Okay, do you want to do number one, though? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Okay, even if you're not no, Gugu. <laughs> you can do number one? Ma'am, my name is Tamar. Try it. Okay, no, but now there's two different people speaking. I'm talking to the person who's using Google too. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, so in number one, what are you going to get as an answer? Negative four. Beautiful. Well done. That's great. Lovely. Well done. Nice. Okay. Tabang, you next. Do number two. That was Tabang. I oh, was that Tabang? Oh, okay. Did you? Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Tabani? Do number two. Tabani? Okay, Tabani's not on. Um, Manda. Do number four. Oh, okay, all right, Tabani, go for it. Number two. May I please do number five? Oh, you want to wait for number five. Okay, Manda, number two. Right, let's get a let's get to move on here. Otherwise, we're never ever gonna get and, to um is the answer zero. No, Manda, the answer is not zero. If we start down here at minus 10 and we add 12, it means we're moving 12 places to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so our answer is going to be two. All right, use your number line. Okay, it makes a big difference in the beginning when we don't understand what to do. Okay, so who said they wanted to do number five? Was it Tabani? Okay, so Tabani yes. do number. Okay, so Tabani do number five. What's supposed to go in the missing block? Ma'am, we haven't done three. Um, it doesn't twelve. Matter. We can leave three and four out. It's okay. I want to get us to the more difficult questions. Otherwise, we're not going to get a chance to finish those. You can try those on your own later if you want to watch the video again. So what's supposed to go in the missing block in number five, Tabani? Uh, okay, so Tabani, we wanted to do this and now you're not answering. Okay, let's gonna ask, I'm going to ask somebody else, okay? 
Okay, go for it, Nanda. Four. Okay, so in the chat. All right. Ma'am, is it negative 13? Negative 13? No, unfortunately not. All right, so, so here. Got an answer. All right. 12. It's 12. It's 12, absolutely. Because if we start at minus H on the number line, we have to add 12 if we want to end up at 4. Perfect. Quite right. Okay, Kumo, do the next one. Do number six. What do we have to do to six to end up at minus five? Kumo? Ma'am, I, I wanted to do number three. Okay, uh, we can't work like that. Okay, so if I call on you, you must either answer the question I'm asking you to or not. We can't, we can't swap around like this and there's 77 of us here. Okay. Sarah? Yes, okay, Sarah, mm -hmm. do number six. Sarah. Good, Sarah. Yes? You know what? I think maybe putting up hands here is not going to work. All right, let's do it in the chat. Okay, so I'm looking at Boutle. And Amila. Okay, Boutle, you are correct. Well done. Okay, you had to start at six and add negative 11 in order to end up at minus five. Now, number seven, you can also put answers, put yes, answers in the chat because the hands are not working. Okay, put answers in the chat. Okay, seven. So you start at minus seven and you add what to get to negative five? Devin says 12. Okay, not 12, it's two. Okay, if we're starting at negative seven, so this one you guys have gone wrong here. If we're starting at negative seven, which is here, and we're ending at five on the number line, we had to move two to the right. That's why we have to add two. Okay, now let's have a look at number eight. Where do we have to start on the number line? When we add negative five, are we gonna end up at negative 17? How are we gonna get there? This is a difficult one. Now, Seiko says 12. Eli says negative 12. Hmm, interesting, Eli. Tabani says 23. So someone has said the correct answer already. We would have to start at negative 12. All right. So with this particular question, we would have to start down here at negative 12. Don't forget about the number line up here. And then when we move one, two, three, four, five places to the left, we would end at negative 17. Okay. So these are quite difficult now. Next one is number 11. Ma'am, can I do it, ma'am? Yes, Tabo, you can do it. Ma'am, I think it's 11, ma'am. Okay, so you said it must be 11 that goes into this block over here. Let's see if you're right. Nope. Okay, unfortunately not. All right, so here, what had to happen with this one is ma this. Ma'am, for number nine, ma'am. Oh, for number nine. What did you say the answer was? Ma'am, 11, ma'am. 11 is still not right. Oh. Okay, let's have a look at the number line. Where are you starting? Where are you starting on the number line with number 11? You're starting at? Negative 12, ma'am. Lovely. So I've highlighted negative 12 in yellow for you. And then when you add a negative number, are you adding or subtracting? Ma'am, yes, adding, ma'am. No, when you add negative numbers, we're not adding. Sub, when we add, sub, we are subtracting. Absolutely. So which direction must we move, to the right or to the left? Ma'am, to the left. Good. So now how many places to the left are you going to move? Uh, one, ma'am. Lovely. So what's the answer? Negative 13. Perfect. Well done. 
Okay, good Latabo. That's 100%. Okay, nice job. All right, now at 10, number 10, we're starting at negative nine and we're adding a number and we're ending at two. Let's see what you guys have said in the chat. Jaden says 11. Kumo says, maybe that was for a previous question. Okay, yes, Jaden, you number are correct. Nine. Okay, you are correct. We need to add 11 in order to end up at two. That's really good. Well done. Yes, I see a lot of you are saying 11 now as well. Okay, so now some of these are a little bit more difficult. Let's practice a couple before we actually start. So now we look at number 12. Right Now, instead of working out what was missing in the block, I want you to tell me what the answer is. Ma'am. Okay, Kajalo. What do you get for number 12? Zero. Zero. Okay, so let's go and have a look and see whether that is correct. Okay, where are we starting on the number line? At? Three. At three, good. So that means that we are starting over here. Okay, we're starting at three. Then when we add a negative number, are we adding or subtracting? Subtracting. Subtracting, good, Manda. So I must move 11 places to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 places to the left. And now I have to add eight. So now what do I have to do? I have to change my direction. And now I have to go eight places back to the right-hand side. So One, right. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I end up at zero. Okay, so I don't know who said that answer, but whoever you were, that was really good. Well done. Okay, so now there's an extra Thank term. You, well done. Well done. Okay, there's an extra term which makes this just a little bit more difficult. Okay, number 13. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Does that make sense now, Nima? Okay, that's what we're doing. Okay, so let's have a look and see who's got a hand up. Koliswa, would you like to do number 13? Oliswa? Cindy, do you want to do number 11? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it Cindy, is... go for it. It is? Um, oh, sorry, 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 number 13. Number 13, not number 11. Sorry, I beg your pardon. We've already got the answer there. Negative <laughs> two. Negative two. Okay, so where are we starting on the number line? We are starting at negative four. No. Yeah, no, you're quite right. We're starting at negative four. So I'm going to find negative four. And then what direction are we moving in? To the right. Lovely. By how many places? Six. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six places to the right. Excellent. And now that we've started at minus four and we've added six, which direction are we going in now? Right or left. left? To left. the left. Good, because we are adding a negative number. How many places are we going to the left? Three. Three. One, two, three. Okay, so negative. we're going to end at negative one. Okay, so that one. should be negative one. Okay, this answer here should be negative one. All right, so that's what you've got to do when you move up and down the number line. All right, now some really difficult questions before we all say goodbye to one another. Okay, those are the ones that are remaining here. Okay, so in this is question number 14, even though the 14 is obscured. So in question number 14, we need to fill in the missing block. We know where we end, but we don't know where we started. All right, so I'm gonna have a look in the chat. 
Okay, well, I think we'll just have a chance to do this one because um, I've just remembered you guys need to do the quiz as well, don't you? Amanda, you say we've got to start at 14. Okay. So you're saying that this block over here, the value is 14. What, what do you say, Lotion? 14, ma'am. You say you were 14. starting at 14. Okay, let's yes, see. Okay, well, no, we're going to start at one. Okay, so if we started at one. Okay, so in other words, if we start at one and we take away four and then we add 10, one take away four is negative three and negative three plus 10 gives us positive seven. Okay, that's right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the blocks on these others so that if you want to come back and watch the video again, you can play um, this numbers game that we've been playing today. All right, so the one that was missing there and then here and then that one and then that one and you'll be able to see whether you were able to get those correct. Okay, and now we have to say goodbye because you guys got to go and do the quiz. Bye, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Bye. Good luck for the quiz. Bye. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Ma'am, 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 ma'am